Step six is to add connecting lines between entities. So what we want to do is we want to go everywhere there's a foreign key, we want to connect it to the primary key that it's related to. So there's a foreign key, we'll put one there. Here's a foreign key, the manager, and that goes with user up here. And draw.io doesn't always agree with where I want to connect them, but I fuss around till I get it the way I want it. Here's a foreign key user ID that goes with the user. Here's a foreign key user ID that goes with the user. Here's a foreign key account number that goes with account. Here's a foreign key account that goes with account. And is that all of them? Every foreign key. Notice that not all primary keys. Oh wait, yep, there, that one is. So not all primary keys, transaction ID and phone number don't have a connection and that's fine. But every foreign key needs to have a connection. It needs to be related to the primary key that it's related to. Then we need to make sure that all entities are related to something so we don't have something that's entirely detached and verify that all relationships in the conceptual diagram are shown here. So we have a branch to user, there we go, branch to user, uh, an account to user. Here the account to user goes through this associative table, but it's there. We have user to phone number, that's there, and account to transaction. So good, that's there. Next we want to determine the multiplicity for each end of the line. So most of these we'll just get right off of the conceptual diagram. So we have a one-to-many here. So here we have, uh, we want on the user end, we want the one, exactly one. And on the phone number end, we want the one to many. Okay, and that matches exactly. We want a mandatory one on the user and an optional one on branch. So we'll put a mandatory one on user and an optional one on branch. Account and transaction is a one and one to many. So account and transaction will be a one on the other end. So this is the one to many, and this is the one. Okay, so we have one and one to many. On the branch and the account, we have one and zero to many, zero to many, and one. Okay, so that one's there. Now the one that's gonna be different is this one to the associative table. So every record in this associative table is related to exactly one user because it has to have a user every time and only one. So it's related exactly to one user. So we're going to put a one and only one on that end. It's going to, each record is going to have exactly one account number as well, one and only one. So we're going to put on this end an exactly one. All right, and then for the other ones we want to ask the same question. A user is related to how many of these user account records? Well, we know that a user can have more than one account. So for each account, they're going to show up in here. That means more than one time. Now we need to decide about zero. Can a user have none in the account? And yes, we have an assumption that says a user can exist before they have an account. And we see that relationship right here. And so it just moves right here and it becomes that zero to many. We ask the same question. An account can be associated with how many of these user account records? Well, we know that an account is going to show up here more than once because every time it's in there uh, with a different user, like one account can be associated with more than one user. So it'll be in there more times. What about zero? No, every account is created with a user in existence, right? So it can never be zero. Each account does not begin until it has a user. So this is one to one to many. And we see that same relationship of users associated to how many users right there. And so that's how you do the associative entities. And these notes kind of go through those steps and the questions to ask for that. And then we need to add the multiplicity. And here, this is going to be very much like the um, conceptual design, because we already have assumptions there. So we're just simply going to copy these and paste them here. 
and those assumptions can be the same. And then I'm going to go ahead and still label the numbers the same, and they will be related in the same way. So that assumption will be right here on the user end. And I'll go ahead and pause while I add these numbers. So now I've added all of the assumptions that were in the conceptual database line, and I'm going to want to look at if I've added any other relationships. And the one that I've added here is this associative one, but this is um, the one-to-one -one is, is the mandatory ones are specified on here by the fact that these are primary keys, so they're both required, and you can't have more than one of them in a record. Uh, and the two is right there, the number two assumption is there, and this assumption didn't need one, so it was fully defined in the scenario. So we haven't added anything that needs an additional assumption, but you always want to check that. So now we're done with making the connections, adding the multiplicities, and the assumptions.